going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so it's been a long time since i've done a it video talking about pennywise dairy main and the losers club recently uh there's been some discussions about a potential another film that we could get and during a podcast best films or best movies never made i'll leave a link to that podcast in the description because they're the basis for this video today during a recent entry on their podcast there's discussions of rumblings and ideas that have been tossed around for what we could see if warner brothers went ahead and did a prequel for it chapter three because we know that in it it's a narrative that spans from when the losers club were kids up until 27 years later when pennywise returns for all of them once again and we know they come back to dairy main to face it as their pact that they made at the end of the last time they were last time they were with each other as kids they did it in, in the film in the novel we see them return in the in the novel vice versa as well in the film that we got back in 2019 last year and i know a lot of people thought that the second film was a downfall from the first film i agree i still thought it was overall a well-made movie the 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 cons didn't outweigh the pros for me that's just my honest opinion on it but jumping into things recently over at that podcast that I mentioned, they talked about rumblings of what Warner Brothers to do with It Chapter 3. And apparently one of the ideas has to do with a deleted scene. Now, I know a lot of people who are big fans of the two films that we got from Andres Muschietti and uh, Warner Brothers over the last couple of years. You know that there was supposed to be the scene in the film where Pennywise was devouring the head of a baby. Like a flashback scene of sorts, but that got cut from the film because it was too graphic. And they talk about it on the podcast. I think they dish into whether or not it was actually shot or whether or not it got shot and it was just ultimately cut from the film's final final product. Um, but ultimately, that was a flashback that we sh we would have gotten diving into how long Pennywise has been in Dairy Man. That would have been one of the more gruesome moments in the film that we did not get to see. Apparently, they've taken that one flashback that was cut and they've expanded it into a whole script possibly again it's not confirmed if this is what we're actually going to get but it it sounds like from what they said on this podcast they took that one flashback and expanded it or took the idea and expanded it into a whole full feature film script so what would happen is apparently we'd be in the 1600s this will be in like the Pilgrim's time. We'd be going around dealing with the first ever settlers in Derry, Maine. And then basically it would be Pennywise encountering these people that are migrating to this new new area, which later becomes Derry, Maine. And he's 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 terrorizing them by essentially saying, hey, let me eat. Your, let me eat your children and I'll leave you alone. So basically, in their words, exactly. It's like Pennywise versus the Pilgrims. Now. I like the idea. I do like that idea. And I know a lot of people have been skeptical about where they would go with it. Chapter three, because if you keep in mind, they've shown us plenty of times throughout the throughout the last two films that Pennywise has been in Dairy Maine for many years. So I don't think that's too far fetched for us to get a third film that goes all the way back into like the 1600s. Uh, early 1600s mid 1600s something like that showing Pennywise dealing with the early settlers of Derry, Maine showing Pennywise dealing with pilgrims showing Pennywise's just first reign of terror in the small town I think that would be a very good uh, plot synopsis or a very good direction to take if they decide to do a third film because ultimately one thing I know people were concerned with was oh what are they supposed to do now the novel the novel's already done they're not gonna have any source material yeah they're not gonna have any source material so this would be a film that they're doing off of the cuff with just stuff that they've already sprinkled in in the last two films and I know a lot of people were concerned about having a third film with the losers club returning and them being old and decrepit we don't have to worry about anything like that it sounds like because they're not gonna do that if they do a third film this would be the third film that they would probably probably go with i know this is the one most of you would prefer to see anyway a film that does not tarnish what has already come before more than i know a lot of you think the second film did <laughs> but it just is a introduction to the two to the two films we've already gotten it's a prequel diving into the history of Derry, maine how pennywise came to be in this town and his first ever encounter with people in the town and how he haunted them and terrorized them and wanted to just eat their children in exchange for that they probably got fed up with it and they, you know they took the fight to pennywise and i the the idea of it does sound very exciting i know a lot of people probably compare this to other films that we gotten recently like the witch and other 
period period set Christian films. Maybe it could have something like that involved in it. I think that would be a very unique Pennywise movie. Imagine there's some type of religious beliefs that they throw into the mix with this. I think that could be very exciting to see. I think a lot of people who are into the art house horror would would get a kick out of this film if they were to do it. Andres Muschietti being back as a director, that would be great. Bill Skarsgård, of course, back as Pennywise, no doubt. Um, no, no idea who would star in the film, honestly. I don't know who would star in it if they were to do this, but I'm down for it. If they were to go the route of doing it chapter three this sounds like the safe route to go you don't want to expand any further beyond what's not written i know i made a video talking about stephen king possibly working on a supposed new novel that takes us into the future apparently is what i recall hearing I, again i saw it on twitter just wanted to make a video about it in the past there's been nothing since so i imagine that that's still a work in progress whether or not it turns out to be real or not we'll see i know he has said in the past he wouldn't even bother doing a sequel to it i know he said that in the past you know people always change their mind i mean look at kirsten dunn she's signing on to do spider-man 3 but <laughs> i know a lot of you guys are fans of pennywise you're fans of the it film so i just wanted to make a quick video and share that there are talks of doing it chapter 3 and it's going to be a prequel and this is one of the things that we could expect to see and of course bill skarsgård as pennywise is a must-have if you're not gonna have bill skarsgård you already lost a lot of people but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that never miss a video in the description you have links to all my social media accounts I'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video